Right. Action. He was such a dear, kind, cuddly little man. Very shy. He had been an excellent editor, which is very helpful to any film editor because they can help with the economy of film because he knows exactly where he wants to cut the picture so you don't get the yards and yards of footage that will never be used. He did a great deal of homework, which was frightfully important. In film, particularly when your schedule is such a short, I mean, three weeks isn't a great deal of time to do a one-and-a-half-hour film, he didn't have time, no director would have, to give every actor 100% of his time what they had to do. So it's up to the individual actor to do his own homework. And often you'd suggest a thing to Terry, and he'd either say, Ah, oh, dear boy, that is a very good idea, and we will do so and so, and, and elaborate upon it. Or he'd say, No, because I don't think we can do that because of this. So it was one of those tremendous team uh, things that happened. We used to have a lot of laughs. And whenever he gave me a close-up, I used to make a point of walking up to him, putting a fiver into his hand. And we did it in such a way, because he was a pretty good actor too, that uh, the unit really believed that I'd bribed him for a close-up every time I did it, until they caught on. It was a kind of a joke between us. He was a great arranger. He'd say, OK, show me what you should do, and then I'll tell you if it's right or wrong. And he knew what he was doing, believe me. Yeah.